So I want to discuss in this video how to block some emails from getting to your inbox. So if, for example, you receive an email and you believe that is a spam mail or a junk email and you don't want that email to be actually appearing in your inbox, you can actually block that sender and every time the sender sends you an email, his mail will move to the junk mail. Or sometimes there are some mails, some mails that come to your junk mail, to your junk mail, and you want to actually block those senders. You can just as well right click on the mail and make sure that the mail, that email address or the domain name is being blocked. So right now, if I click on the junk mail, you can see I only have the option to go to the junk email options. But if I go to inbox, and here I click on the Microsoft Teams email that was sent to this email address, and I can as well have more, more options to block the sender or to never block this sender, never block this domain, or never block this group or mailing list. I also have the option to go to junk email options. Here we can actually choose the option we want, which is the low, high, or safe list. Of we can permanently delete suspended junk email instead of moving it to the junk email folder if that's what you want. But we also have the option to actually add some safe sender, also trust email from my contact to be safe sender, or we can as well add some emails or domain names to our save recipient. But if I want to block someone, I can as well add, let me just add, for example, this email address. Click OK. And here, I will let me just click Apply. So we also have the option to actually export this to a file. For we have a lot of emails here we've blocked. We can actually export this to a file, or we can actually import um, from an, uh, from a file. Like some, if we have a lot of emails, instead of typing it manually here, we can adjust it. Uh, maybe the mails are in an Excel or a CSV file. We can import them into this block sender list. So we also have some international. So we can block some top level domain list. Here you can see I can decide to block any email from Andorra will be blocked. In, in my, I will, I will not receive any email from Andorra, or, or the mails will be sent to my junk mail, or we can as well choose other top level domain list. We also have the option to block encoding list. Here we can have the option to block some encoding list, but I'm not going to do that right now. So here I have a block sender. Let me just click OK. So I'm going to send an email to uh, Thomas so, uh, so that we can see how this blocked senders actually works. So I want to say I've sent Thomas an email. So right now, so the email is coming. So here you can see the mail has been moved automatically to my junk email. So if I go to my junk email, you can see that Kelvin Bell, which was actually included in my block list here, my block list was sent to actually automatically to a junk email box. So I can right click this mail and actually click on junk and say block sender, or I can say the mail is not junked. I can say never block sender. If I say never block sender, okay. Here the mail will not be blocked, but I can as well move this email to my inbox. Just click and say move to my inbox, okay. And the mail will be moved to my inbox. So right now, if I go to my junk email and I go to block sender, I can say, okay, I want to remove this, that this mail should not be blocked anymore. If I think the mail is not a junk, I can. Then click apply and OK. And anytime Kelvin Belk sends me an email, the mail will come automatically to my inbox and not to my junk email anymore. So that is how you blocked an email address of someone or you add them to a black to a block list and then the mail will be automatically moved to your junk mail instead of actually taking space in your inbox. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video. My name is Kelvin Johnson, and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT-related videos. So thank you for taking your time to watch my video. I appreciate you a lot, and goodbye.